everyone, how's it going? Boomslang here. Welcome to my channel. I really no one's here yet, but hey, we're recording anyway. Hey, Pax, how's it going? And everybody else who's here, thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, we just watched John Japs uh, do his live thing, and uh, that was fun. So I uh, put in a bid on some, a box of Yak stuff, too, just, to, just to, to do it, you know what I mean? So what, uh, what I... I actually planned this yesterday, so I had to go through all my my boxes and get out like one of everything that I've got um, sitting around, laying around. Thanks for the thumbs up, by the way, guys. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully more people will be joining us. Um, I gotta get my glasses on because I'm an old man and can't see. But as you can see inside of here, there's a a whole bunch of packs. Let's pull this binder out of here. And then we'll start laying out the packs. Have some oddball stuff in here too, as well as, you know. Side out, so people can see the labels. That's the mountain. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hey, Rob G, how's it going? Gorilla family, how's it going? So tonight, um, I just want to open up like one of everything that I've got for y'all, and let's see what we come across. You see, I I have my my observers here, Mantle and and Maris, the M and M boys. So, um, let's get going. Let's see if we can... You know what? I'm going to have to turn this camera and see if I can turn it down a little bit. It's as far down as it's going to go. Good enough. And that did nothing. All right, there we go. All right, so we're just going to point out the like the Hall of Famers like I usually do. Jesus, every other card is flipped in here. There's that smiling uh, Sparky Anderson. I don't know if that's the same card that uh, John pointed out on his live stream or not. There's Pete Rose. There we go. We had a little background. Now we're spinning again. 
Here's a Hall of Famer, Andre Dawson. And we're flipping. Andre Dawson team card. Lamar Hoyt. Card's got something like it melted, it got hot in the pack, and the, the uh, clear coat was uh, Tony Gwynn was melting on the card. Raleigh Fingers. He missed a yak pack himself, right? And that's that. So we did pull down um, several Hall of Famers in that pack. Hey, Randair Studios. Welcome to the stream. Donnie Baseball. Not a Hall of Famer, but darn good baseball player. Mike Schmidt. Willie Randolph. Lee Smith. That was a good pack for like underrated cards, I guess. So, those of you guys are just getting here, I'm just opening one pack of like Every pack, or almost every pack. Obviously, there's the 72 uh, football packs are not going to be opened up, and some of the holiday rack packs are not going to be opened up yet. Kirby Puckett. Tom Glavin. And I believe that's a Harmon Killebrew puzzle piece. Yes, it is. I'm just catching up on some of the chat too as well. About some um, 92 leaf. We had 91, so let's check out 92. By the way, this is what series is this? Series one. So we got a Ron Carcavice gold card inserted. Bichette. He's Alan Trammell, Brent Smith, and that's that. You got a Trammell out of there. Oh, yes, I bought some 91 upper deck. Still haven't opened many a box of these and have not come across that Michael Jordan SP1, but definitely came across a ton of repeat team stickers. Okay. So these cards are all flip-flopped in here. Dave Staten. Seen him play minor league ball for the um, Padres at the stadium in Las Vegas. It's a minor league stadium. Old Buddy Black. And that's it. Very, very bad pack. Here we go. How about some Dunruss? Always fun to open up Dunruss. There we go. We start off with a Hall of Famer, Ryan Sandberg, right off the bat. John Crook. Gary Carter highlights, breaks catching mark. Most game caught by catcher Al Lopez in the National League. 1,862 
or no, his one yeah 1,862nd National League game as a catcher. Surprised he had any knees left. Another Tony Gwynn Hall of Famer and puzzle piece. Well, let's open up this 87 wax. Roberto Clemente puzzle. Paul Molitor. Fred Lynn, Diamond Kings. Uh, looks like an off cut, or is that just my eyes? Tell me it's. Yeah, no, it's cut crooked. Checklist. I thought maybe my eyes were going crossed. How about we hit a, a stack of tops? Let's see, we've got. 87, that's OP team. So we got 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 94, Series 1, 94, Series 2. This is 88. That's a 99 Bowman. Here's a Stadium Club. Here's a 92 Tops. I don't think I have a 93, guys, but I got a pretty good stretch of them here. Can you hear that? That's the sound of a card being set free from the grips of the gum monster still left scars all right so we got the gum card out of the way straw man And no Barry Bonds rookie card. 88 tops. Come came right off. Still left some scarring. So we'll get the scar card out of the way. Mike Dunn. Dutch Dalton, Jamie Moyer, there's the Bash Brothers, Bash Brothers, that's a cool card, Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer, and John Farrell. All right, so then we've got 89 tops. Gum released very nicely. Still have gum stainage. Along with so Mike Sosha cards wrecked. Harold Reynolds is gonna be the oh no, whoo, saved by saved by the Cal Ripken card. Off cut on the back. Front looks pretty good, maybe off cut. Top bottom, maybe a little bit right to left. Very hard to tell. To left to right. All right. 90 tops. Double gum. Damage card. Lance Blankenship. Advertisement. Most be. Goldfield. Jeff Juden, draft pick. 
Wow. That was a disappointing pack. All right, some 91 uh, tops. Yeah, but traded. 91 tops traded, too. We should find that next. Gum. Let's see how bad the gum stain card is. So it's a Stan Javier. Yep, got a nice little gum print there. Advertising, Mike Socia. Dave Winfield, nice one. Kent Herbeck. And Eddie Murray. Two Hall of Famers out of that, nice. All right, where's that? Well, hopefully we'll find it. I a, like an update pack, too. Hmm. Maybe I neglected to put it in here. 92 tops. Get the gum out of the way. Game piece. Barry Larkin. Another oil can Boyd. Jose Canseco. There's people who still like him. And Franklin Stubbs. All right. So we're coming up on the 94 Series 1. Check on the chat. Yeah, don't forget to sub each other up, guys. All right, so a little ticky-tacky, but I don't think we're going to have paper loss. Cindy Alomar. I got a gold, tops gold, Bernie Williams. Insert number two card in the set. Marvin Freeman. There's Trevor Hoffman. Billy Wagner. And Salman Torres. I don't know if Billy Wagner's in the Hall of Fame or not. I know Trevor Hoffman is. Billy Wagner. You don't know. Let me just put him there. So we can check that out. If you guys know, let me know. I know um, Trevor Hoffman... Um, I had a discussion with uh, my boss, who is a big baseball guy, um, just last past week. And the subject of, you know, Mariano came up. And he was unaware that Mariano, um, or I'm sorry, Mariano and Trevor, uh, that Trevor Hoffman was the first guy to 500 saves and 600 saves. Matter of fact, the total number of saves separating um, Trevor Hoffman and Mariano Rivera is only 51 saves. So it's not a lot. That's like one season. I mean, I think Trevor Hoffman's best season was 51 saves, but still. Um, but then Mo started out as not the closer. He had um, actually like 84 wins and gold card of Gene Harris. Um like 60 losses before he became a full-time closer with the Yankee Todd Van Poppel, Dave Justice, or people are like Dave Justice, Darren Fletcher, and there's a chipper coming attractions, Chipper Jones and Ryan Klesko. Nice. Very nice. Why can't that be the gold card though, right? All right, let's open up this 87 uh, OPG. I have opened these up in the past on the channel. I bought a box. Um, and the back card is was 100% destroyed. So let's see how this one is. Like the gum was just totally stuck to it and couldn't get it apart. Or it bled through so bad that it was all bubbled up on the, uh, on the other side. This Zane Smith survived pretty well. He does have all that gum stain. I don't know if there's a way to get that off. So it's at least it's only a Zane Smith. 
Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Nice. And Wally Backman. So we got one Hall of Famer out of the OPG cards. Nice. We'll take that. Check the chat real quick. See what's going on over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice chipper jump there, Watchman. All right. So, you know what? Let's open this one up. 89 Fleer. Stickers. Now, on this, we're looking for the Randy Johnson with the Marlboro advertisement in the background. That would be nice to find one of those. Kent Herbeck, Earl Hershiser, nothing doing. How about some 91 Fleer? Everybody loves Fleer, don't they? Ah, uh, yes, the yellow bordered cards. Even the stickers got yellow borders on it. How's that? There's Ryan Sandberg. Oh, no. He showed his face in this. He, he opened his face on my stream. How dare he? So my wife gave me something she needed to open, but I'm like, there we go. All right. All right. Alvaro Espinosa and, and Reindeer Studio knows all about Espinosa. It's his favorite player of all time. And if you guys want to send him any Espinosa cards you have in your collection, any and all, I'm sure he's uh, still accepting donations of Alvaro Espinosa cards. Pete Incavilla, Tony Gwynn, Dutch Dalton, and Candy Maldonado. And that's that. That was like a big jumbo pack, though. You know, we're going to leave this out here just for reindeer. Let's open up this one here. This is some 89, 88 uh, Tops Cello. And I just felt the gum break on me. So let's see. Gun broken like three, four pieces, three pieces, whatever. Jesse Orozco, Dwight Gooden. Doc is going to be at the um, um, Valley Forge Casino at the end of February. Um, the last two days in February and the first day of March. Uh, signing autographs, 29 bucks. You can get it. If I go, that's the one I'll go for. Not good so far. And just to get some really nice other players in there. I mean, they have a bunch, but Whitey Herzog is a definitely Hall of Famer. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. Barry Bonds. Look at that second year card. Played in Hawaii. What a gig. 44 games in Hawaii. Where he hit a whopping seven home runs. But he spent half the time between Hawaii and the big club in 86. So, not in the hall, but good card to have anyway. You never know. He might get in one day. All right, how about some score? We've got uh, 91, Series 1, 90, and 89. 
Lee Smith Hall of Famer. There's the trivia card. Pasquale and Melito Perez. They gotta be related, right? Yeah, I think they're brothers. And that's it. So the Perez brothers highlighted that pack, right? They're born in the same town. Trivia card. Gary Sheffield, not a Hall of Famer, but still good player. I'm not sure if this is considered his rookie card because he did spend time up in 88. So, Jim Abbott. Dennis Eggersley is definitely a Hall of Famer. Matt Williams. Gary Gaetti. George Brett. Lonnie Smith. Kent Herbeck again. Sandy Alomar Jr. again. Alex Fernandez. There's a Jose. People like Jose. Greg Maddox. Lou Whitaker. Not in the hall. Cecil Fielder. And Mel Hall. How about some 93 Donruss Series 1. Ramon Martinez, the brother of Pedro Martinez. Whew. Yes, Ramon Martinez headlines that pack. All right, let's see. You know what? Let's do some. Oh, there's the 91. So there's the 91 traded pack. So let's go through it. Dave Vergetti, Jeff Ware, Tony Fernandez, Daryl Strawberry. Raphael Belliard, Junior Felix, and Dante Bichette. He was up and down for a while before he finally stayed up. All right, so let's do some 89 Bowman. Looking for the Griffey Jr., right? We got... Ed Whitey Ford, Hall of Famer. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. I'm not sure if that's his considered a rookie card or not. It's a nice card. And Dave Stewart. Very good pitcher for the A's back in the day. How about some 91 Bowman? Sammy Sosa, very young looking Sammy there. This is the gum card. It is wrecked. Kevin Bass, 
This is a wax card. Wrecked. Bobby Bow and Dutch Dalton. And some 99 Bowman. Checklist. Paper checklist, that is. All right, Musi Musis Alu. Hard time pronouncing his name. Kerry Wood was featured on the pack as possibly getting a random insert of Kerry Woods in here. Alex Ramirez, not Manny Ramirez. Oh, here's a Troy Gloss Scout's Choice insert card. Nice. Juan Encarnacion. Pat Klein, Tony Aramis Jr., and the foil card is, I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name, the Tim Andugadigi, whatever. You get the point. I tried my best, but my best just wasn't good enough. How about some... Um, 92 Dunross Series 1 and Series 2. Check the chat real quick. Hey Hunter, how's it going? Yes, I am subscribed to the Jabs family. Uh, both John and Eric. Hunter, don't walk. Wow, the puzzle piece was the headline in that that pack. Holy cow! This didn't even have a puzzle piece. What? Maybe there was none. And the checklist was the headliner in that pack. Well, that was a bust. I bet we do some Pinnacle 92 Series 1 and Series 2. Now, these may be bricked. They feel a little bricked. Yeah, so there'll be going to be some paper loss here. Oops. Hopefully it's not going to be bad paper loss, but paper loss, none the same. Any paper loss is not good, right? So we got Doug Drabeck, Juan Samuel, Mike Moore, Lance Parrish, Scott Erickson, Jose Akindo, Mo Sanford, Gary Scott. There's Idols, um, Joiner. And and um, Murphy, yeah. John Farrell, Mike Socia, Steve Olin, Craig Biggio, second to the last card, saved that pack. And now for this one. Chris Gardner, there's a Ricky Henderson. Brian Williams, Brian Jordan, Ruben Amaro Jr., Brent Smith, Ken Hill, rest in peace, Joe McGrain, Joe Hesketh, Franklin Stubbs, Pete Incavilia, Kevin Reimer, Milt Thompson, and Chris Nabaholtz. Nobody there.
I am having a great day there, Truth. Thanks for asking. Favorite baseball team? The Yankees. I mean, right here you see. There's Mantle. There's Mickey. And there's my Maris autographs. I have other ones. I have a Jeter. Um, um, rest in peace, Don Larson. I got Larson's. Um, unfortunately, my um, Yogi Bear came back as counterfeit when I sent it out to PSA. So that didn't work out too well for me. But I'm very happy that that Maris came back as authentic. All right. Well, this one is probably opened and resealed because it is just stuck to the card. I don't, I've never seen where the wax was that bad melted onto the pack, but we'll see. Not that there's much to uh, take out of these back in the day. Joe Carter's a good ball player, right? Ah, there we go. We got Ken Griffey Jr. Off center, but still. I mean, sharp corners. Very nice card. Evidently, it probably wasn't searched. Because if it was, that card would not be there. How about some more Dunruss? Paul Molitor right off the bat. Cal Ripken MVP. There's a Will Clark. That was a nice pack. Had some nice cards in there for sure. I'm going to go with this one here. Rob G's going to rip open some 95 Bowman box. And sell some packs on eBay tonight. That's cool. Guys, don't forget to uh, check each other's channels out. Make sure you're subscribed to each other, you know. Uh, help, uh, you know, grow each uh, each other's channels. Craig Biggio. Kurt Schilling, who missed out on the haul this time around. Maybe next year. There's a Roger Clemens. And that was it. So we got the video. Oh, let's see. How about we do some like some FLIR stickers, sticker cards. And in no particular order, I guess. I just felt the gum break in my hands. Oh, yeah, the gum is. There's the one piece. The rest is stuck on poor Rick Burleson's face. So we can get it off all Rick. We got it off of Rick with uh, minimum paper loss. There's a Paul Molitor, George Foster. Pete Rose, a lot of people still like Pete. I got his autograph at the last uh, card show out at the um, Valley Forge Casino. He had one of the biggest lines, as big a line as anybody else out there. And he took the time, he talked to you, you know, not the last one, the one before this one, but he took the time, he talked to everyone that came up, answered most of their questions, I'm sure. He answered my question. Kirby Puckett, Ron Darling, Ryan Sandberg, Ozzie Smith, and rest in peace, Billy Buckner, your shirt's unbuttoned there. That was a good pack. All right, moving on with some more Fleer stickers. Don Sutton, Doc Gooden, Kent Tekulvi. Ken Griffey Sr., Andres Thomas, Ozzie Guillen. 
and some 88. And this pack is a mess. But we'll go ahead and see what's left in here. And Cavilla, Robinson, Davis, Benito Santiago, and there's a Dave Winfall in there. So, not bad. And that's um, uh, 94 Stadium Club. Not bricked up. That's nice to know. The pack itself is disintegrating, though. All right, let's see. Wait, did I see? Oh, okay. I thought I saw Cordero on the back, but it's different. Cordero, May Tomlin, Craig Shipley, Curtis Leskanik. How about a Chan Ho Park? That's the like the uh, chase card in the set. Are the parallel? No. I guess it's not. Parallels must be gold. Todd Zeal. There it is, the gold one. Uh, Mike Munoz and yeah. Chan Ho Park had a pretty pretty long um, baseball career in the MLB. One of the few um, at the time, few South Koreans playing Major League Baseball. So how about some 92 Fleer? It says, collect Roger Clemens Career Highlights Limited Edition Series. Details on the back. Well, we don't have any inserts in here, but look at that right on the top. Larry Walker, newest Hall of Famer. Sid Fernandez, Robin Ventura, Kelly Gruber, Dave Regretti, and that's it. Top card in the pack. Save the pack. Number 91, Fleer Wax. We had the Jumbo pack before. Now we're opening up the Wax pack. John Allrude. Alex likes John Allrudes, doesn't he? Jack Clark, Sid Fernandez, Mike Gubiza. This Allrude was the card in that pack. Some 90 Fleer. Greenwell, Mike Gallego, a Lou rookie card. That's the card in the pack. Flare Ultra 93. Might be a little bricky. We'll see. These cards are notorious for sticking. John Jaha. Cheeto Martinez. I believe that's the same as David Martinez. No. No, that's Cheeto. Fryman. Jack Morris. Randy Johnson. Will Cordero. Donnie Baseball. Look at that. Going for a pop-up. Maybe down the foul line. Very nice card. Sweet looking card. Will Clark, Will the Thrill, nice. Hojo, Howard Johnson, look at this, Larry Walker, Top Glove. Nice insert card. Just says nine, I don't know, nine of whatever, but very nice. 
Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer, and Mark Lewis. That was a good pack. A lot of good ball players in that pack. Oh, let's see. How about some stadium clubs? We have 91 Premier Edition Series 1. And then this is Series 2. And then we've got 92 Series 1, 2, and 3 to go through. So let's go through Series 1. Look over my shoulder, check the chat. PED card collection. Hey, how's it going? Hey, John, past is alive. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, guys. Like I have my back turns to the to the monitor, so I have to turn around every once in a while to check out the chat. Look at that, another Donnie baseball. Sweet. Not a Hall of Famer, but still. Maybe someday, right? We can all hold out hope. And that's the advertisement. Mike Marshall. Derek May. Bruce Ruffin. Jay Buner. And Jack Howell. Nice downy baseball there. All right, Series 2 pack. Let's see. Jamie Moyer with the Cardinals. I had no idea he played for the Cardinals. Jeff Blauser. Little, very little bit of bricking going on here, but not, not that it's leaving a, any paper loss, so that's good. Paul Ossenmacher. Chris Carpenter. George Bell. Gerald Perry. This one might leave paper lost now. Nope. Adley Hammaker and Phil Stevenson. Not the best of packs. All right, so now we got this 92 Stadium Club. Series 1, 2, and 3. Okay, that one won't open, and I don't know where my little knife is, my carrying knife, dang it. Sometimes the wife comes in here and grabs stuff. <sighs> Let's just keep ripping and see what happens here. Hopefully you don't damage any of the corners. Here we go. All right, so no paper loss. That's nice. Stan Belinda, Robin Ventura. There's the advertisement. Kevin Brown. Bernard Gilkey, John, you here? You paying attention? Did you see that? Shane Mack. Checklist. Larry Anderson. Rob Deere. Another favorite of some players. And Ryan Bowen. Bernard Gilkey was the card in that pack, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. All right. Scott Leis. Paul Ferris, Mark Kubiza, Mark Guthrie, 
Joel Johnson. Alex Cole, Lou Whitaker, Daryl Boston, Todd Zeal, Steve Decker, Paul Abbott, Luis Polonia, Tino Martinez, Advertisement, Jim Gantner, and Tim. Mauser. All right. Series three. Glenn Davis. Steve Howell, Todd Benziger, look at that mustache, it's like 16 year old mustache, Bob Welch, Jack Morris, Chris Gwynn and Dennis Rasmussen. So, Jack Morris is the card in that one. Let's see, we got some upper deck in here, don't we? We opened up the one upper deck. All right, so we got some upper deck here. We already opened up the 91. So let's open up these. This is 1990 upper deck. Terry Francona, right off the bat. Very good manager. Juan Gonzalez, rookie card. How about a John Crook? White Sox sticker, checklist, Spanky LaValier, Ken Hill, Joe Girardi, Diggy Thon, and Oil Can Boyd. How about some um, 92 upper deck? Warren Newsom. David Martinez. Devon White. Jose Uribe. Alan Trammell. Craig Biggio. Kyle Abbott. And Gary Carter. I like Biggio's fourth year card. All right, so we got this uh, 95 upper deck platinum power insert cards are back. Look for exclusives, special FX insert cards, hollow view photography, eight super premium cards per pack, one special foil card in every pack. All right. So here's our die cut. It's Ray Durham. Kevin Seitzer. Dennis Martinez. Gary Sheffield. Brett Butler. Phil Niven. And Dave Hollins. So there we go. You can see the back of these cards. Uh, 
All right, how about some 93 Upper Deck Series 1? Oh my goodness. Either I'm getting weaker or... I don't know. All right. Kurt Schilling, again, didn't make the haul this time. There's a Community Heroes checklist that's got Jim Abbott on the front. There's a Donnie baseball. Nice. Rick Aguilera, Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Tom Gordon, Scott Radinsky. Someone lowered something down for him, like a ball in a cup for him to sign. He's signing it. Pretty cool. Damon Easley, Jimmy Key. Eric Hansen and Jimmy Key again. What the? What are the odds? And here we go. How about 1989 Upper Deck? Could we get a Griffey Jr. in here? Didn't know. Yeah, but the, the Hunter, that those cards didn't stick together at all. They were pretty sweet. So whoever had them must have taken very good care of them. All right, so this I'm going to say is a high number because it's got like 400s in here. But look at that stash on uh, the goose. But I guess there's still a chance you can get a Griffey Jr. out of this because the high numbers were supposed to be Co-mingled with the low numbers, too. Cubs. George Brett. So just... See, there's a low number, 215. So I don't think this is Series 1. How about a Barry Bonds? 440. I don't know what the Series 1 cutoff was, what number. This was like an 880-card set, maybe. But I'm nothing over 400, so maybe this was a Series 1 pack. Nope, there's 538. So, we got a Barry Bonds out of that. That's not bad. If we can't get the Griffey Jr., I guess you want the Bonds, the Brett... And a goose, Hall of Famers. All right, how about we open up some big cards? Tops Bigs for second and third series from what year? I don't know. I just own them. I don't know what year they are. Oh my God! I was gonna say they had the big advertisements in there, but that's just a regular size card. That would have been cool, though, to have, like, the giant version of that. Lance Parrish. John Crook is a young crook. So this is 87, so it must be 88. Jose Canseco. I know some guys got some serious wood right now. Looking at that Canseco. So Canseco was the card in that set. And this is blank. Was this one blank? No. I got an error card. Oh, my God. I got an error card. It's worth about a nickel. Has a Smoltz rookie there, John? Okay. Well, let's see if we can find old Schmoltzy. Let's see. Uribe. There's a Rock Reigns. Earl Hershiser and Chris Brown, who was pretty good for a while. So I got the tops, nothing on the back card out of that. That's a cool. Not. Another one with nothing on the back. What's going on here? Maybe they were all that way, but why does that one have something on the back? Carney Lansford, Bryn Smith, Juan Nieves, Odeby McDowell, Tom Bernanski, 
Bob Horner, and Juan Berenguer. And just for you baseball buffs, Bob Horner is one of a few guys that hit four home runs in one baseball game. Bob Horner, four home runs. All right. All right. I know some of you guys are hanging around waiting to see some of this oddball stuff, so let's get to it. Right Here's some uh, heads up. So these have little suction cups on the back, and apparently you can hang them up in your locker. Stick, stick them on walls, mirrors, lockers, one pin up, collect all 24. So apparently there's 24. Here's the checklist. Tony Gwynn, Will Clark, Doc Gooden, Dennis Eckersley, Ken Griffey Jr., Craig Biggio, Brett Saberg, and Bo Jackson, Brian Sandberg, Greg Olson, John Franco, Raphael Palmer, Gary Sheffield, Mark McGuire, Kevin Mitchell, Jim Abbott, Harold Reynolds, Jose Canseco, Don Manley, Kirby Puggett, Tom Gordon, Craig Worthington, Dwight Smith, and Jerome Walton. And how they come up with this list, I don't know, because it's not like one from every team. So let's now we have to be careful because this is the checklist as well. So don't screw up the checklist. I gotta get that paring knife. Well, let's see, wait a minute, let's see if it comes undone. Get the iron out and steam it real quick. Gingerly, gingerly. There you go. That's not bad. Paper lost there, but and for the slow review, drum roll, please. So this is 1990 tops. It's number nine of 24. So who's number nine on the list? Ryan Sandberg. And there it is. Ryan Sandberg. Different. There it is. It would be nice to get the junior one, but that's all right. Ryan Sandberg. All righty. How about this oddball? I know some of you guys, maybe you've tuned in my channel. You've seen me open these up before. All-Star Doubleheaders. So it has a small card in here with a picture of their, like, 88 or 89 tops with along with the picture of their rookie card on the opposite side. This, again, is the checklist. So I guess you want to be careful not to destroy the checklist because it is part of the set, right? Oh, look, we got a Ron Sandberg with Sandberg, and it fell out. It broke. Well, that stinks. It's broke. Where's it pop in there? Oh, it just pops in there. Okay. Woo! I thought it was broke. Like, I just got it, and it's broke, and I can't return it because I've had it for, like, forever. Well, you're taking it back to Walmart and getting a refund. or So there it is, Ryan Sandberg. Pretty cool. We will let you stare at the Rhino. And that's, that is a coincidence. Like we got on the both oddball things of both Sandbergs. All right. So here's another oddball thing. These are um, 133 top stars buttons. Um, 1984. Collect, wear, trade, full-colored photos. Three buttons in each pack. Each button a giant one and one-eighth inch. And it's produced by some called Fun Foods. Premier Collector's Issue. Checklist is on the back. So I guess we got to be careful when we're opening to not destroy the checklist. All right. So... Uh, I think I want to try to split it here. And I could use that piece of Sandberg plastic. Come here. Get out of there. Sorry, Ryan. I promise I'll put you back together. So we're going to use this. Not very effective, but better than the fingernail I don't have. It's working somewhat. There we go. And Mr. Sandberg is all back together again. Looking good. And we get our pins out. 
Who do we have on our pins? We have a, a Tommy John. You guys can see that. And on the back, it's got the number, Fun Food. Um, 92 of 133. Pitcher ERA was 452. And let's see, who's this? Oh, look at that. Nolan Ryan. Focus, focus, focus. Almost. Stop focusing on my hairy arm. Oh. And what's focusing on these cards? But there's Nolan Ryan. What's it say on the back for him? Number 109 of 133. Pitcher 304 ERA. That is a sweet one there. And the last one is Jack Clark. And that's number 19 of 133. Could have looked at the checklist and got those numbers too, but there's some of that stuff. Really like the Nolan Ryan. Who goes over there? And so should Sandberg, I guess. All right. So, more oddball stuff. How about this? Uh, Major League All-Star pop-up. You get three cards and a puzzle piece and a pop-up card. John, you would appreciate this. Look, it's not even punched yet. You know how you are with, like, keeping everything, like, pristine. Not even punched. Fresh out of the box. Not hung up on the rack. But that's all about the change right now as I dig into here and destroy it. Get out of there. Boom. Oh. So we got puzzle pieces of Roberto Clemente. We have a boogered up um, Dave Winfield. The stamp must have got hooked on the way out. The die cut, the die. Hall of Famer, Teddy Higuera, Jody Davis, and Willie Hernandez. Nobody important there. All right, some 91 Clear Ultra. Best cards in this set are the 10 gold card set. Yeah, Astros. We're going to talk about the Astros right now. We do have a gold card in here. John Crook. It's a Ricky Henderson. Vandy Van Slyke. Hojo. Jesse Barfield. And Jay Bell. All right. What's next? Let's do a 95... Hobby Series 2 12 cards per pack Now I've had these in the past They brick up But this seems good Gaetti, Mark Witten Keith Mitchell Andres Galarraga Here's our gold card Of a guy named John Roper Our foil card I should say There we go Hitters Incorporated Ken Griffey Jr But it has some paper loss And they're not even They're not even sticking so they must have stuck at one point and then got busted free. Followed up with the Hitters Incorporated, Jeff Bagwell. Nice. Whatever, here's the back of that junior card. Dave Magadin. There's paper loss there. Scott Sanders. Mike Huff's got paper loss. And Luis Soho has paper loss. And oddball stuff. How about some minis? Seven cards per pack. Let's see. Floyd Yeomans, Bill Doran, Sid Fernandez, advertisement. Mariano Duncan, Dale Strawberry, Steve Sachs, and King Kong Dave Kingman. How about some uh, American baseball cards? This is made by, uh, it's a Topps product, but it's produced in Ireland, I believe. Made by the Topps Ireland Limited, Cork, Ireland. 
distributed by the Tops Company in Pennsylvania. Da, 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 1989 Tops. These are just kind of the same as those mini cards, except they're printed in Ireland instead of the U.S. Complete with gum stain and everything. Yep. Dale Murphy got the gum this time, looks like. If we can get it off of there. There we go. Not too bad. Definitely like sandpaper, though. There's sugar there. So the Murphy got the gum. Ricky Henderson. Kirby Puckett. Tony Fernandez and Carl Fist. Overall, though, I mean, very good pack. Uh, we're starting to get down there, guys. How about some triple play? 92. And what year is this one here? 93. So we'll open 92. The more popular year of triple play. There's a game piece. Travis Ryman. Chuck Finley. Lance Dixon. Albert Bell. Reggie Sanders. George Brett. Action of Tony Fernandez, I believe so. Unless it's the first baseman, Edgar Martinez. Uh, same card. Look at that, Edgar Martinez. So half of that pack was a repeat, or almost half of it. At least a third of it was. But we got repeats of Edgar Martinez cards. So not bad, the Hall of Famer. We're going to get like repeats of commons. All commons. Anyway, we got some nice cards. All right, we've got Al Martin, BJ Surf, Langford, Kirby Puckett. Who's the booklet? It is Joe Carter, Juan Gonzalez, Willie McGee, mascots, pirates mascots. There you go. Some people like the mascots. Dwight Gooden, John Smoltz, not bad. Here's uh, 91 Leaf Series 2. We already opened up the Series 1 pack, so let's get right into the Series 2 pack. Paul Molitor, nice. Joe Carter. And a puzzle piece of Harmon Killebrew. Getting down there, getting down there. Let me open that up. Got a few left. A few left. Some rack packs. Here's the last, like, really junk pack, I think. Puzzle piece of Warren Spawn. Oh, look at that. Nolan Ryan right on top. And I said it was a junk pack. How can it be junk with Nolan in there? Andre Dawson. That's two Hall of Famers. Harold Baines. Uh, Hall of Famer. He's in the Hall, so you can't deny him that. All right, so let's let's do this clear rack. If I opened up one of these already or not, I don't think so. Senior Fred Lynn checklist. Charlie Huff. Don Baylor. White Sox, Yankees, Kirby Puckett, right there, nice. Andre Dawson's the insert card. Number six of 12. Bob Welch. How about the Ripken boys? The O's brothers. 
Nice card. And Mel Hall making an appearance here again. All right, so we have some more. How about some 87 Fleer? By the way, I appreciate everyone stopping by and hanging out and watching me open these packs. Rudy Law, Fonse, Gene Garber, Dave Trevecki, Harold Baines, Doyle Alexander, Bert Blylevin, Junior Ortiz. Two Hall of Famers in there, not bad. How about some... 86 Dunruss. Uh, featuring Hank Aaron Puzzle. 15 cards per pack. There's the Aaron Puzzle piece. Who do we have? Greg Brock. For Bly Levin again. Steve Yeager. Onyx Concepcion, Tony Fernandez, Jerry Kuzman, Earl Harshizer, Diamond Kings, Jimmy Key, Tony Perez is in the Hall of Fame, Dale Barra, son of Yogi. And that's it. So we've got two Hall of Famers out of that pack. And we have, how about this, Fleer Premier Edition, complete with bubblegum, 17 cards per pack. Look how pink and yummy that gum looks. There's no, not a bit of mold on there, John, if you're still here. I know this camera probably doesn't do it justice. I don't know why, but that is pink. Looking pink as a newborn mouse or something. Little pinkies. All right, here we go. Dale Barra, again. Rich Hebner. Willie Akins, Pete La, you know why I'm not going to say it because they may pull the. Well, we got one decent player. He's not a Hall of Famer, but if you guys are a little bit older, you, you know who Mark the Bird Fidrich is. Came up really, really like hot, like taking the league by storm and blew out his arm, his elbow, shoulder, whatever. And basically that was the end of his career. He pitched a little bit, a couple more years after that, but basically he's done. I know, John, I don't want to give you a um, Bowman flashback, but don't worry, this is not 1990, this is 89. So we're okay. Oh, no, never mind. I'm thinking 90 tops. I take that back. I do have 90 tops. I opened one already. No luck on that one. So, here we go. We're looking for the junior. Wally Jr. Rafael Palmero. Rest in peace, Ken Howe. Pedro Guerrero. Tony Gwynn, nice. Jack McDowell. Nolan Ryan, the Express, very nice. Flip. Mike Socia. Bo Diaz. Alan Trammell. There's the Willie Mays. Say hey, kid. No junior in that one. So we opened up a wax. No junior. We opened up a jumbo. No junior. All right. So now we got several rack packs to go through. One, two, three, four, five rack packs. And I, let me move this so we can have room, more room here. Sorry, Mick. 
There's our rack packs. So let's see. Hey Jay, how's it going? Sorry, I'm just checking up on the chat because it's I've had my back turned to it for so long. So, um, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Thanks for the likes. Yeah, well, thanks, Alex. Um, I just, you know, I do have. Uh, I don't know if you see, he's under the wrapper there. That's one of your boys right there. I don't know if you're here when I, I pull them, but there you go. The whole route. Yeah, this is this this is one of almost one of everything that I have. Of course I have some like I said, nineteen seventy two top football. Um, I still have three packs of those left. I did open one up kind of when I hit the 250 subscriber thing and um, uh, I'm just those last three packs I have three grand three grandkids so each of them's getting one of those that's it you know um, I bought off of eBay some of the holiday rack packs uh, they'll be opened up later on at a later date um, and so yeah let's um, let's continue I got the door closed. The cat has not made an appearance today, but you guys have, have not met my wife. I'll be right back. But she likes to she likes to drop the f bomb from time to time. Yeah, so she likes to drop the old f bomb. From time to time, and I don't want to get uh, censored out because of her getting a little upset with her game or something like that. So let's continue on. And now my notifications are coming through again. Yeah, well, that I'm gonna tell you that cat. We someone had already asked me about the cat before. The cat. We had to drive all the way up to. Western New York uh, We live in South Jersey So it was a couple hour drive to pick it up Because it's the only place around Like the Cattery That had these purebred Russian blues My wife wanted a Russian blue Anyway back to these cards And I paid Probably as much Yeah as much for that cat As I did for a 300 plus thousand Card collection Paid eighteen hundred dollars for that cat, and then it cost me more money after that. I had to sign a, I had to sign a, a release form stating I would have the cat fixed and not breed the cat because these guys are professional breeders, and they didn't want me to be their competition. I'm like hell with that. I'm breeding this cat. I'm gonna get my money back, right? Well, my wife decided that we're gonna fix the cat, and that was that. I got no money back out of that cat. Just cuddles, I guess. That's all. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story for another day. The cat does come in this room a lot and hang out uh, when I'm in here. But it's not my cat. It's my wife's cat. She wanted it. But they say, happy wife, happy life. So let her have her cat. I really don't like these rock packs. They're such a pain in the butt to open. And if you do that, you run the chance of wrecking the corners. All right, so who do we have in here? Well, we've got the Ozzy Smith All-Star card, but it's a little creased right there. So that kind of goofs that one up. Frank Viola. Paul Noche. There's a Kirby Puckett. Oh, they're still on the screen there. Yeah, you can see him. Okay. Bruce Souter. I'm thinking he's in the Hall of Fame, but if he's not, he should be because he was the top, like Lee Smith, he was the top reliever of his time. There's Trammell and Gibson. Bert Blylev, and then some people say Blylevin's in, you know. He didn't have the best of records either, yet they let him in.
David Cohn, Ken Griffey Sr., Cal Ripken. He was on the top of the last pack, so we're on the last, the bottom rack pack as it is. Oh, and Yacht's right there with him. Look at that. And Reigns. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness this bottom stack. Goose saved the whole rack pack. He just ripped out four Hall of Famers just like that. That is cool. That was nice. So, all right. Next, we'll do this Fleer, 1990 Fleer. Oh, I like it when it peels like that. It makes it a little easier. There's a Juan Gonzalez rookie. Nice. Put him over there. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Nice. I don't know if this is considered his, Hall of, his rookie card or not because he's got three partial seasons with the Mariners. But this could very well be his rookie card. <clears throat> how odd off cut this is I can't even cut the the stickers straight Jack Clark Harold Baines Kelly Gruber off cut again. Who's the Uribe? Eddie Murray. Walt Weiss, Dave Justice. Sammy Sosa. Robin Ventura. Oh look, we got the league standout, Barry Larkin. Nice. And not cut. So, there. all right, 87 chops. Obviously, we're looking for that bonds. He is not anywhere in view, so we'll see if he's inside hiding from us. I think once or twice I did actually pull a bonds, so it's it's a hard pull. For whatever reason. All right. I got a big mess to clean up. Fernando Valenzuela, all star insert. Frank Viola. Joe Necro. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer right there. Dennis Eckersley, nice. Spanky LaValliere. Ricky Henderson. Keith Hernandez All-Star Base. Well, at least I didn't pull out like five different Pirates cards in this rack pack. There was only like two, maybe. All right. <clears throat> we have two rack packs left. We have this 89 top. 
And then that 87 Dunruff down there. And that'll do it. All right, so we got Pops Stargell as the insert all-star card. Nice. Andy Van Slyke. John Guidry. And we got three athletic back-to-back-to-back. Will the throw Clark. Dale Murphy. Nice. Cecil Fielder. There's Don Mattingly. All-star card. And that's that. Mm, two nice cards out of there. And the last one is this 87 Rack Pack. All right, here we go. Raphael Palmeira, rated rookie card. Ken Griffey Sr. again. Last pack, stack. David Cohn, Barry Larkin, there you go. Goose Gossage, nice. Phil Necro. And David Lopes, who's not in the Hall of Fame, but a member of all those great Dodger teams. And that's it, guys. I think that's it. <clears throat> oh, look. Found it under the mountain of trash. Nope, oh, here's one. So we have a 92 Leaf Series 2 to go through yet. Let's see. And we got Ken and Griffey Jr. Nice. And our Gilkey is our gold insert card. Dale Murphy. Tom Glavin. Fred McGriff. Mickey Morandini. Name just rolls off your tongue. Now I found this, and I don't know if uh, if um, Scott's still here or not from Reindeer Studios, but I did find this rack pack, and it just happened to have his numero uno, number one man right in there on the rack pack. And what else did I have? Something else I put off to the side. Oh, yeah. For the Canseco lovers out there, found this rack pack with the Canseco All Star insert on it. I found this one that has a Glavin rookie, I believe, right? And. This one was in the same box as this one here. I had two Kinsekos in there. And now that I 
I still have your attention. I wanted to open up. I know I've already opened up one of each, but I kind of like these FLIR sets. So I'm just going to open up a couple more packs. You guys can hang around if you want. If not, that's cool too. I appreciate everyone that stopped by and hang out with me and uh, you know, enjoys the cards with me. I appreciate that. So, Paul Molitor, Jack Morris, Frank White, Charlie Huff, showing his knuckleball grip, two fingers on the seams. And we have another 87 clear. I want to open up here. Jay Howell, Pete Incavillia, Moose Haas. Insert is Tony Fernandez, Donnie Baseball. Pull down a lot of Donnie Baseball tonight. Nice. Barry Larkin. Kelly Gruber, and that's that. Now how about some 89 Fleer. David Cohn, Sid Fernandez. Dan Plesak, his nephew pitches now in the Major League. I forget for what team. Mark Grace, Robin Yount. Dante Bichette, Tony Gwynn, nice card, Grady Hall, The Big Cat, and Danny Tartable, and yeah, I got this one laying around. Let's open this one here. So this is what, 88 tops. Another cello. I know I opened up one already, but I pulled out two. Might as well open it up. I ain't digging to put it back in. Tommy John. Look at that. Mark McGuire. Sweet. Nice. Followed by Mark McGuire Record Breaker. Card number three in the set. Rookie record for home runs. No gum stain. Gump him right off. Advertisement. The Hawk, Andre Dawson. Eddie Murray. Harold Baines, not a bad pack there, anything in these that I was holding out particular, no, just that they had some, I guess that they had some nice players on here like Ozzy Smith, Eddie Murray, Tony Gwynn, is on the back. Tom Seaver's on the back. Sparky on the front. And that's it. Alright guys. That's it for this video. I don't think there's anything else. 
left over here unopened. Yes, there is one more pack. So let's do it. Another 88 cello. Like I said, I'm not going to dig the boxes back out and stick this back in there. So I will just open it up. And then they all go into a 5,000 count box. See who we get out of this one. Stan Musial. Jim Rice. Ted Simmons. New Hall of Famer, right? Thanks to the modern era committee, right? Bruce Bochy. He's probably going to go in the Hall of Fame as a manager. And that's it. So this pack wasn't as good as the last one, but hey, it is what it is. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, and thanks for the thumbs up. Show the justice under the Mark McGuire stack, please. Sure. There's one. I think you had a couple. So I had two justice cards and all of them, only two. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know. I, I used to do them all the time, live streams. Um, I don't have a set schedule, but um, if you have your notification bell on, you know, um, you'll get notified when I do. I'm sure, I hope, that when I start, I usually don't start right away. I let, because obviously no one's in the room, and that slowly fills up. I never get, really, I think maybe 15 was my max at any live stream. But usually it's the same same faithful, you know, uh, guys that keep coming back to the channel, which is great. Um, so, yeah. That's what I thought. I wasn't 100% sure that Suter was a Hall of Famer or not. I mean, I was kind of thinking he was, but definitely a Hall of Famer. All these guys are, I mean... I think Billy Wagner's in the Hall of Fame, too, isn't he? If not, he should be. Where's the suitor? There he is. You know, some of these guys will get in. So just, just so you guys know, like if you come across this, this, this Mark McGuire card here, I'm trying to get the reflection down. So you see this area behind his his foot here, his ankle? If that's white, there's like a little white box. That's the error card. One of these has a white box. I think it's I think it's his lead foot has a, this red piece is missing. It's just like a white little triangle right there. And that's the error one. There's a couple other ones that have um, printing on it. Uh, the Eddie Murray left and right-handed that has printing on it um, and so on. There's, there's a couple in this, in that set that's got errors on them. Um, it, it, the record breakers, there's know, four or five of them that have errors. It's ridiculous. And some got, well, they, I think they were all were corrected, but some of the errors definitely got out. I have some of them. Ah, who's my least favorite team? Right now, I mean, it's got to be Houston right now. I mean, I, being a Yankee fan, you would think it would be Boston, but technically I'm a fan of baseball. And, and if you're a good ball player and you play honestly, because now we're talking, you know, with all this scandal going on with the stealing of signs, I understand it's 
steal signs when you're on second base or you try to steal signs when you're on the field. Don't use cameras and stuff like that. That's that's against the rules. Um, and and this guy Mike Fires is catching all kinds of heat for coming out. People call him rat and stuff like that. And I counter that with teams have been complaining for the last couple of years about Houston and their sign stealing. And the league did what is perceived to be nothing about it. If they did, they weren't saying anything about it. Um, so when Mike Fires came out and said, you know what? Yeah, they were cheating. And I was part of the team. I was part of the cheating that, um, you know, he's not a rat. He's, he just he told the truth. Yeah, okay, he benefited. He got a, got a ring, all that good stuff. But he developed a, a conscience down the road for whatever reason, whether he got beat up in a game by them or not or whatever his reason is. Basically, he ended up telling the truth, and that's what matters. So now baseball can do their investigation because now they have first-hand account of what was going on. Before, it was all just hearsay. Someone saying, well, this, this, this. Well, there's no proof. Yeah, they're banging on the trash cans, but they stopped that. They were warned, and they stopped that. They just modified their system to the next level. They took it to the next level. They didn't stop. The argument's going to be that other teams cheated or are cheating and stuff like that. If they get caught doing the same similar thing, then they should all be penalized. I don't care if it's the Yankees, you know, the Red Sox, the Cubs, whoever. You know, this is just another black eye for baseball, and you get tired of it. You know, this is steroid era. You know, we all went. Well, most of us went through that. I went through it, and um, you know, you look back and say, oh, "That was those guys all cheated. They cheated." The Mark McGuire's, the Sammy Sosa's, the Barry Bonds's, the guys that were supposedly saving baseball actually almost ruined it. The Alex Rodriguez's, the Manny Ramirez's, all those guys, they ruined it. So, you know, I don't I don't really have a least favorite team. I have a least favorite player, and that is Pedro Martinez. I just I met Pedro when he was a minor leaguer. He was a stuck-up, conceited, arrogant, you name it. Um, he was it. And we, I took my two little boys um, to watch the local um, AAA team playing, which was the Las Vegas Stars. And um, the Dodgers came in with their uh, – minor league team and you know they played three or four game series and after the games we would you know hang out with the players and get autographs as they were boarding the buses or the home team guys were leaving to get into their cars or what i mean we got autographed bats from some of the the players and stuff like that like they broke a bat and they came out and you know they would just sign it and hand it to someone well you know we've gotten stuff like that um but um Asked him to sign the cards, and he was flat out like, I'm not going to sign any cards for you. You're just going to turn around and sell them, you know. I'm like, to myself, I'm saying, you're nobody. You're lucky you are where you are because of your big brother, Ramon, got you maybe a tryout with the Dodgers because your brother is a decent ball player, decent pitcher, and he's twice your size, by the way. Um you know, so you're nobody, and now you're dead to me, as far as I'm concerned. You know, and then to hear him come in during the playoffs uh, and World Series in 2018, where he stepped on the heel of uh, the Brewers' first baseman at first base, uh, Aguilar, I believe his name was, um, sliding into second base against Arcia, the second baseman or shortstop, and hitting him with his hand, right, trying to, you know, disrupt the double plays. Um, then to do it again against um, the Red Sox, stepping on Steve Pierce's ankle not once but twice, right, trying to hurt someone uh, against um, the Brewers. He actually shinned him in the calf with his legs as he raked it across first base. Pete Rose. Well, because you don't like the Reds. 
I met Pete uh, a couple months ago. He came out here to a, uh, a card show and was signing autographs, and I got his autograph. Very nice guy. Talkative. He would talk to you while you were there, standing while he was signing your stuff. Um, then a month later, Jose Canseco comes out to the card show and does not say one word to anybody, just takes their item, signs it, barely looks up, right? He looked only to, he looked up only to get the item from someone, and that's it. I kind of had to force him to shake my hand, you know. Yeah, well, Pete has a gambling problem. You're right. And if they let all these steroid guys in, they might as well let Pete Rose in, right? They might as well let Shoeless Joe in in the hall, you know, because if they start bending the rules for these cheaters, Pete cheated too. He cheated as a manager, not as a player. As a manager, Barry Bonds cheated as a player. Mark McGuire cheated as a player. And now Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, Alex Correa, you know, uh, Yuli Goriel, all those guys cheating as players, not to maybe the extent of the steroid guys are perceived to cheating, but it's bad too. It's just as bad. Some people say it's not. It is just as bad. Because they knew the pitches that were coming. They still had to execute. Well, the steroid guys knew a pitch was coming. They didn't know what the pitch was. But they still had to execute. They still had to have the hand-eye coordination to do it. They just had a lot of more strength to do it with. Whereas the guys knew the pitch that was coming. So they could sit on that pitch and do damage with it. Not all the time. Not 100% of the time. But they still were able to do that. They were still able to affect the outcome of game. And not just the game. But people's careers, you got young kids are getting hammered by these guys who knew what the pitches were. So they come up and then they get set down. You got guys like Clayton Kershaw, who's a very good pitcher overall, getting hammered, right, by these guys. All right. Like hammered like you've never seen him get hammered before. You know, he doesn't win every game, but he doesn't get hammered for like six or seven runs. You know, that's a rarity. Um you know, and their stats bear it out. I've been listening to all that, all that stuff about the Astros and all these talk shows, and, and you know, everyone has to make up their own mind what's what's important to them. That's all. Obviously, if you're a Houston fan, you're gonna want to lean towards your guys and saying, eh, yeah, everyone cheats, everyone does it. Okay, well, everyone wasn't caught. You were caught. You say the same thing about President Nixon. Yeah, well, all of them do that. They all do the bar tapping and all that stuff. Yeah, well, Nixon was the only one that got caught. All right. Um, you know, throughout history, yeah, there have been different ways of cheating, binoculars, whatever, changing the lights out in the uh, the outfield or having a certain catcher in the bullpen stand a certain way or whatever. Who knows, right? I don't know. All I know is, this is what's here today. This is what we're dealing with. And I just don't think Major League Baseball is handling it properly. That's all. That's, you know. Anyway. Um, thanks, everyone, for tuning in, for hanging out, for watching. Thanks for liking, uh, giving me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so now. I appreciate that. And, um... I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sure other people are out doing uh, their stuff, and I want to get tuned into some other people's um, videos and, and live streams and see what's going on out there. Um, so thank you again, and we'll see you in the next one. This is Boomslang signing out saying, Peace, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Hunter, for hanging out. Thanks, Alex, for hanging out. Truth, thank you for hanging out. Apex, thanks for hanging out. Gorilla, thanks for hanging out. I know you're all not here, but I'm going to thank you guys anyway. And don't forget to check out everyone's channel that's been in here. Um, the Past is Alive was in here tonight. Ped's Card Collection was in here tonight. Waxman 68 cards is in here tonight. Classic cards was in here tonight. Just going back to the chat. 
I hope I don't miss anyone. Mike, the uh, Indians card dude, was in here tonight. Thanks, Mike. Let's see who else was in here. Michael Heath was in here tonight. Thanks, Mike. Rob G was in here tonight. Was in here tonight. It's in here a long time. We're doing a long stream tonight, guys. I've done longer, but this is cool. Uh, let's see what else. Who else is here? Who else was here? I don't want to try not to miss anyone. A reindeer Studio was in here tonight. Remember the Great Sports was in here tonight. Paul Dyke was in here tonight, D-Y-C-H-E, and I can't go back any further, so I might want to go all the way back. It's my stream. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for tuning in. I will watch this video that was posted, yes, uh, since he did his thing while we were, while I was doing mine. I will watch Jabs, check him out. I, it was, you know, like one of the first ones I saw a video of and I started watching his channel and then, um, you know, just migrated around and, you know, there's still channels out there that I haven't discovered yet, you know. So have a good night, uh, Alex. So, yeah, I, I got to, I got, I try to go back and I try to, um, catch up on a lot of uh, videos um, on the weekends because I don't get too much chance during the week anymore uh, with working and all that good stuff. And I'm going out. I'm going to have surgery the 20th of February. So I'll be kind of down for three months, having my knee operated on. And, yeah. But anyway, thanks, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. I got, like, Two minutes left and we'll hit the two hour mark so i'll wait for two minutes why not i've been working on um well hunter you're, you're kind of new new to my channel <clears throat> other guys have seen this but you haven't so ready this is my my son's old bedroom that I use now. He moved out. He got married and moved out. So I use it. And I'll just take it out of here. And I store some of my cards in here. So I have them almost to the roof along that wall. So it's wall to wall, one wall. And then you see there's my boxes of crap yet. This is all non-baseball. This is just football, hockey, basketball. And then I've got uh, the dining room downstairs. My wife has been bugging me. i got the dining room downstairs filled with just as many cards. So She's been bugging me for a while. That's why I've been working on my garage, getting my garage converted. I bought a shed, 200 square foot shed, and I moved everything from the garage to the shed. I do not smoke. So, nope, I've never smoked, so that's one good thing. No one in my house smokes, so that's a good thing. Well, thank you. Yeah, it could be all right. It's just, you know, it's actually going to be a partial knee replacement, Hunter. They're going to, uh, Take out the inner half of the upper and lower part of my, my knee. I don't know if you have any idea of what these knee replacement surgery is about. But they're taking out, um, getting a partial. I've never heard of either. Uh, I've only heard of like a full knee replacement. When they told me about a partial, I was a little, little apprehensive. But I mean, these guys are doctors. They do it all the time. 
And uh, well, she doesn't do it a lot, thank goodness. That's one good thing. But her game, you know, sometimes she gets a little upset. So she will drop the F bomb once in a while. I mean, it happens. Where I work, I swear all the time where I work. So you try not to. I try, you know, you keep it on the down low as much as possible. You know, you don't want to do it around grandkids or anything like that. You don't need them picking up any of those those words or anything like that. So, yeah, she only does it once in a while. So she's not a bad person. She's a good person overall. That's why I close my door so that in case she lets one go because she's playing her game. She's playing World of Warcraft. And it's frustrating, I guess, when you die. I mean, I play World of Warcraft too, but I don't get into it like she does. I used to, but not anymore. I'm back to doing my cards and stuff like that. So, I put away, I don't know, hundreds of packs of cards for my grandkids. So, when they get of age, you know, they can, um, you know, enjoy it. Hopefully, I have a four-year-old granddaughter, a two-year-old granddaughter, and a two-month-old grandson now. So, it's going to be fun. The girls like it. I have uh, videos of my granddaughters helping me open packs and stuff like that. Let's see. I'm trying to get something here. Let's hope it doesn't fall. Because it's on top of the box. Ah, there we go. I made it. So, here's probably the largest pack of cards you're ever going to see in your life. The largest pack of cards you're ever going to see in your life, right here. That's it. It only comes with one card. And you can see what the card is, so you can pack search. And when I saw this one here, I used to have it hanging on the wall. I took it down. Um, Derek Jeter. And this is a Pinnacle product. It's got nice that, that nice silk... Um, into it it's clear coated and all but and it's got i mean the back is the back of a regular card it's just in its you know holder for shipping purposes or storage purposes here's the back of the card so i'm sure it's modeled after his the regular card that Pinnacle put out. It's just that it's in a super duper giant size. And it's the only one I have. I saw they had a couple there at the time, and I'm like, yeah. But I decided to buy it. This was years ago. It was at like Kids R Us or something like that. Toys R Us. But it's Doug Jeter, and I figured, gotta get it. And let's see. Here's something you probably never saw before. That's a card. That's one card in that pack. And some of you guys have seen these before. I got these at the same place. A little dusty. But I've gotten like six of those. And I, I picked out the six best. There was more than six there. I just picked out the six best players. Only, so what they did was they bought this upper deck card. They had like three of them. And then they cut out two of them and kind of put them on, stacked them on top to make it look like, like he's a, like a 3D, 3D card. That actually is like that's raised up off the card. It's hard to see, and I didn't want to open them up because I mean, and they're made by this company, Tri Cards, and this is number ninety-four of fifty thousand that were made. So the the print run was fifty thousand on each. Here's a um, 
Cal Ripken Jr. on the upper deck card. And this is 94 of 50,000. How about Dave Justice? And this is 532 of 50,000. Frank Thomas, 120 of 50,000. This is um, Will Clark, it's 532 of 50,000. And Nolan Ryan, the Express, number 120 of 50,000. So they must have gotten like three cases because they're two different, two different numbers, like 120, 532, and 94. Yeah, so they must have gotten three cases, and I got there and just happened to pick these up. So they're pretty neat. You don't see them a whole lot. I think Jabs had these on his channel one time, or someone did, and I'm like, oh, yeah, check this out. I got I got some of those cards, too. And that was years ago at, um, uh, like, a Kids R Us store. I was there shopping for probably Ninja Turtle stuff for my kids because my kids were... You know, into the Ninja Turtles back then when they were young, little babies and stuff. All right, guys. Again, thanks for hanging out. But I got to go ahead and um, shut this thing down. And um, so when are you going to open the rest of the rack packs? Uh, you know, the um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Those are the only ones I've ever seen. I can open these up later on. I, I've got actually these. These I'm probably not going to open up because people like those guys. So we'll see what uh, comes about with them, whether I decide to sell them or whatnot. And then these, um, you know, they just they're gonna they're gonna go in a box. Like I got this box here with these are all 87 rack packs, 87 uh, Gunrush rack packs. You know, they're just gonna go in here. Let's sit in this box until I decide to do another video. Maybe I'll open some of those up. Um, I've got... I've got literally like... Like, I have a full unopened case of these. And I've got the, the equivalent of two full boxes yet. Not opened up. Of this 87 um, tops in the quest for the Barry Bonds. We have pulled one or two Bonds rookie cards out of these. So, you know, that's just more material for um, videos. Um, I've got, you know, I can officially say that that box is empty now. So, yeah, I got. Two thirds of a, a case and two thirds left of 87 tops. And the boxes right there, yeah, the, the unopened packs in. Um, and, you know, like, like John Jabs, I'm always looking for, for deals, but, you know, I'm also trying to keep my. Um, expenses down because I'm working on converting my garage into a studio where I can set everything up there the cameras, the tables, the lighting, everything. Um, and being able to shoot all my videos out there in the garage that's that's one of my goals for this coming year for 2020. Actually, I'm going to those baseball boxes I'm going to be using for displays, um, maybe background stuff. I use some of them in some of my videos where I set them up and use them as uh, as props and stuff like that. Some people actually collect the boxes. The boxes and the wrappers, like I've, I've been saving the wrappers that, that are not damaged or destroyed. And they go in boxes. And so if, you know, uh, somebody, you know, wants a wrapper, I have wrappers, you know, stuff like that. People buy these things if they get old enough, you know. Uh, wrappers can get you a couple bucks, too. So, you never know. These have to get a lot older, though, because they're worth nothing now. 
So, yeah, right now, like I'm, I'm, I've got over two million cards in my personal collection, and I don't sell cards or anything like that. So, you know, I just collect. I'm a collector, and that's what I do. I bought in. Um, Probably two years ago, my collection was about hmm, 500,000 cards. And within two years, it's grown to 2 million buying people's um, bulk lots, buying collections and stuff like that. So that's where I sit. But now I've got the issue where... Um, not just buying buying the cards, but now you have to have places to store them, the boxes. For 25, 5,000 count boxes, that's like 100 bucks. For 10,000 penny sleeves, that's, you know, 60 bucks. For uh, top loaders, you know, that's, you know, another 50, 60 bucks right there. So it costs you, you know, a lot of money just to store them and keep them so it's it's kind of a never-ending um, money pit excuse me so you know you've been an Ozzy Smith fan all your life well that's cool the Wizard of Oz is uh, is uh, a good guy to have as uh, kind of like your role model your hero mine mine is um, always been Mickey Mantle um, my father named me after Mickey Mantle. My father was a uh, Yankees fan. And um, so that's where it all comes from. I, in, I in turn, um, did not want to have my sons, like, named juniors or whatever, to be named after me. Um, so I gave them their own individual, unique, not unique, but individual names so they can have their own um you know, not have to worry about living up to anything, any expectations, anything. So, um, I named, I did name my son uh, after Ty Cobb, though, my youngest son. Uh, I was born in 1985, um, shortly after Pete Rose broke the um, all-time hit, hits record by Ty Cobb. So I didn't want to name him after Pete Rose. I named him after the old school guy, the old time ball player, Ty Cobb. And so that's where, that's my only tie to baseball for a name goes for my son. My other son, my first son, we just, you know, we just gave him a regular name. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing special. I do have, I do have an identical twin brother. And um, so my dad, being a baseball fan, was going to name him Ted after Ted Williams. But my mom stepped in and said, no way, that she was going to name one. And since um, he was born first, my mom got to name him first. And so she just named him David. My father went the baseball route and named me after Mickey Mouse. So that's that. That's a little bit of family history there. All right, guys. Thanks again uh, for tuning in. Thanks for watching. How old am I? I'm 60 years old. Six zero, born in 1959. That's right. I'll be 61. Looking forward to retirement. I can't wait, actually. Um, but you know. I'm, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm getting a little tired of working, you know. I want to be able to relax and do my own thing. I mean, I really wanted to do this YouTube uh, baseball card thing full time when I retire, but my channel kind of stymied uh, growth wise. All right, truth. Yep, yep. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. It's Sunday, right? And uh, I know there's is it football tomorrow. I don't. I don't even watch football anymore. Um, but there's no football, right? Football now is like in first week of February. 
Well, we're trying. I've been just winding it down for the last 15 minutes. We were just bullshitting, um, and uh, I did show the guys the, probably the biggest pack of baseball cards they're ever gonna see. So here's the wrapper. I already took it out. That's the wrapper, and here's the card that came in the wrapper. So it's from 1998, and it's a um, Pinnacle product. It's Derek Jeter, obviously. And I forget what I paid for this, and the price tag might be on it somewhere. It even says, biggest card ever, right on the bottom. Biggest card ever. Is there a price on it? No. Usually they put a little on there. I was careful enough to just cut the top off, so maybe it was at the top. But, you know, I, I kind of knew I, I had to hang on the wall for the longest time. And decided to take it down because I want to move everything to the garage. This summer, sometime, hopefully. I've not broken ground on the garage as far as studio-wise. I ran the gas lines. For uh, gas heat and moved everything into the shed that I bought a 200 square foot shed to put everything in the shed so and then I paid a guy to close off the one window I got the same guy to close off the garage door that's just going to become a wall I've already looked at getting carpet I wanted to get some carpet in there that was I mean after putting padding on the floor obviously because the cement floor is still going to be cold Put, put padding on the floor and there was carpet that was shape of a baseball diamond kind of like this that i wanted to get for in there um just kind of you know something neat um i'm thinking of shelving what kind of shelving do i want to put in there because i've got to put all these boxes of cards in there uh and this is only like i don't know maybe half a little over half of what i've got yeah, it's a little bit over half. Um, and yeah, so, you know, um, it is a, I don't know, maybe a 250 square foot garage. Maybe, maybe 275 square foot garage. But I wanted to uh, set it up with nice lighting, get my um, camera set up in there, and... Um, Figure out how to do this. I want to get steam yards and work it. Problem is, it's you know steam yards so expensive. Um, Twenty bucks a month and up, but it is what it is. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I could, I could break cards all night, but then I, I would eventually run out of, out of. Uh, I would run out of cards. Then, my New Year's resolution was to not buy any cards, except for the national and um, card shows. So, then I'd be breaking my New Year's resolution. So, you know, don't know how long I'll be able to stick to it, but it is what it is. Like I said, I have a, an inventory here that I can work off of. I can always go back to just, you know sorting cards like we used to do on Alex and, and stuff like that. I've got so many boxes to go through yet. Have not hit any flea markets uh, all winter. So, yeah, thanks for subbing each other up, guys, and hopping on the bus. Um, help each other grow your channels. Even if you don't plan on having something today or tomorrow, next year you may want to start your own channel and you've already got some subscribers helping you grow your channel. Yeah, it's the bus. I know it's the bus. Get on the bus. That's fine. Like I said my channel has kind of stagnated. I got um, one new um, passenger tonight from um, John's stream. I've actually regressed. I've lost a bunch of uh, passengers who got off the bus for whatever reason. It is what it is. Um, I briefly hit that 750 plateau, and then it just died. Started going backwards. 
Yeah, so I'm at 737 right now. But it is what it is. You know, I'd really like to do this full time when I retire. And that gives me, I'm looking at age 62. So we'll see. It's very hard, guys, to grow your channel and finding that out. Yeah, ice cream sounds good. Except it is 11.39 on the East Coast. All right, guys. For real. For sure. This is it. Hey, do you guys, you guys watch um, Matt Antonelli by any chance? Watch his channel? He was talking about um, doing some baseball card breaks, but mostly he does um, uh, his Road to the Show series. He's a former number one uh, first-round draft pick of the San Diego Padres. Okay, you watch him. Yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, he's pretty good. Um, um, I, I had a few conversations with him about collaborating on some stuff, uh, baseball cards. and uh, Actually, I just have some cards I'm going to send him and see if he'll sign them live uh, or at least sign them during one of his uh, – one of his uh, videos. I, I bought these cards a while ago off of eBay. And I want to send them and see if he'll sign them for me. So, I don't know if you guys can see them. Matt Antonelli there. I got that one. I got that one. I got this one. That's a pretty cool one. It's like a 1958 or 59, I guess 59 look. Got that one. Got this one. I got this one. And I got this one. So I bought all them. I want to send them to him and see if he'll sign them. Chris's cards. I'm sure I'm subscribed to him. I don't. He like said I haven't been able to get around to do a lot of people's stuff uh, during the week, but on the weekends I try to play catch up. I had bought in in the past. I bought into uh, chasing Donnie baseballs breaks. Um, ah, who else was it? I bought into I bought in a couple breaks from some of these other guys uh, that have their channels and stuff. So Donald Blumdahl, yep. Yeah. Donald uh, Blumdahl helped me out. Um, Answered a lot of questions of mine about um, eBay store, setting up an eBay store and stuff like that. How to set up my um, Patreon um, stuff. You know, just answered questions about that I had about certain things. Because I mean, this is all new to me, like um, as far as like the eBaying and PayPaling and um, even YouTube. I used to watch YouTube, but I never had a YouTube channel. Um, now I've been at it for probably two years and I started out doing YouTube, uh, gaming and stuff like that. Uh, World of Warcraft, doing the pet battles and stuff like that. Um, then it died, you know, it, it progressed into first person shooters, uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild stuff. Um, you know, different games that I like to, uh, I enjoy playing and, um, to this, to baseball cards, my hobby. Yeah, Donald Blumdahl's out in Seattle, Washington, so he's like, you know, he's probably just getting into his uh, his evening now. But uh, he usually comes on live after 9 or 10 o'clock East Coast time. So most of us are either at work or, you know, where we can't really tune into his stuff. But uh, on the weekends, we can catch him. All right, guys. Again, thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the, uh, you know, the view time, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, uh, can't wait until I stream. Well, um, so all you need is a webcam. That's what I'm using, a webcam. Now, you can't... I, I played some MLB The Show 19, too, but I haven't figured out how to... 
um, stream it because um, I don't know. I just haven't figured it out. Um, but I don't play online anyway. I just play like I played on easy mode, and um, right now I'm in. I'm up to twenty. 30 something like that i'm playing like a whole life like i'm trying to do 20 20 years worth and i've been rushing through it and i've been playing in easy mode though like it took me two and a half years to go from the minor leagues from um being a 15th round draft pick by the yankees to getting to the major leagues with the atlanta braves Yeah, so to go live, all you need is a webcam, and um, you can't use Internet Explorer, but you use um, Google. You use Google, and that's compatible with YouTube. You can't, unless you have the, the thousand subscribers, which I don't have, that would be great, because then I could do live stuff out at the flea markets and stuff like that using my phone. But since I don't have that, I crushed the hours. The view hours was never a problem. Like, I got all the view hours. I've had them for, God, I don't know how long. Um, but going live and people tuning into your live stream really gives you. So, like, we've been doing this for two, almost two and a half hours now. And when I get done, when I shut it down, it's probably going to be like five hours or six or eight hours worth of view time because of the number of people in here right right now there's six people in here they've been watching say for the last you know half hour right well if so if they were in here for the full time you know each one six times you know two and a half hours is what you get so you get you can get your hours up very fast by live streaming and but to get like to be able to live stream with your phone or a mobile device you have to have a thousand subscribers so that's where i'm stuck i don't have the thousand subscribers i would love to be able to go out and stream live like my flea market because i this past summer i found so many cool deals and really nice cards and binders with old cards in um or when i do my bulk bulk buys you know um I could have done all that live. Instead, I got to record it and then come back, and download it, upload it, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, Jonathan Allen, subscribe to your channel. All right, thank you, Jonathan Allen, if you're here. Thank you. So now I'm one more closer back to what I was at for... Uh, I was at 7.52 at one point. Now I'm at 7.38. Passengers on my bus, riding the bus. All right, for the six of you guys that are still here, thank you for hanging out. But basically, I'm all talked out. Um, I need a drink. I got to use the, um, the little boys' room. So I'm going to have to cut it off here and... Approximately 30 seconds from now, we'll shut her down. So any last comments you guys want to say? Last questions? You've got 25 seconds. <laughs> if not, we'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you around uh, in one of the rooms. All right, the hobbyists, yep, good night. Alex, thank you, good night. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. It's Boom Slang signing out saying peace. Oh, peace, guys. We'll see you in the next one.